Hey everybody, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me and my furry side kicks for today's video. So happy you're here. If you're new, I'm Laura. This guy is Wyatt. Sienna's over here on this side trying to hide. And love you hang out, hang out, hit that subscribe button. We do subscription box unboxings, shopping hauls, out of the day, and so much more. And for today, I have a giant <laughs> trunk club unboxing for you today. Look at the size of this. It is enormous and a bit heavy. Um, trunk club is a subscription service through Nordstrom. Um, I love this one because if you have a Nordstrom card, there is no styling fee. And you do get quite the variety. So you can choose from coats, shoes, accessories, um, so much. There is quite a lot of options for you, as well as you can add on. Um, you have some versatility in that you do get to preview what your style's team has picked for you. Yes, there's a team, so whomever is up in the queue will curate your styles for you. Um, and then you have some options to switch out. So you can swap. Um, they'll offer you about three other, three other suggestions to swap if you don't like a pick. You can also change colors and patterns if, if there is another color or pattern available in an item that they have selected for you. So there is some variety with this one. Um, so, I have a huge trunk. Let's get right into it. I asked for fall styles, and we'll see what I got here. You get 10 styles typically to try on unless you've approved your trunk with less items. Um, and everything does come in bags, so we'll get everything out of the bag. I do have a... <laughs> oh, there's so much in here. You do get an envelope um, that has... Notes from your stylist, pricing sheet, and stickers to close this trunk right back up in once you've put the items you don't want to keep back into it. Um, and look at, I do have, a looks like a pair of high boots. Hence the huge box. All right, let me get everything out of the bag and we'll be right back. Okay, lots of styles to share. And this one is going to be an interesting collection. So let's run right through it. First up, Vera Moda. I have a jacket here. Black and white, flat bottom there. Um, kind of angles up at the corners. Button front, collared, and um, button at the wrist. So that looks cute. <laughs> Why it's going to sleep. Next, we have a sweater from Treasure and Bond in this blue color. Kind of has a waffly type knit to it. Has a banded bottom. Okay, then I have a blouse. This one's kind of interesting. Um, this is by Free People. It's kind of a crossover and it's longer. It's in this stripe. Not sure about this one. Once you've Removed items the first time you've got your preview. You have no control with about uh, the second time, right? They'll just add items and send then. Okay. I have a pair of Pistola denim. These are a straight leg, light, lighter wash. I don't, it doesn't look like a little bit of distressing around the um, pocket, but nothing major. So these are nice. I like those. We'll see how they fit. These are a zipper, not a button fly. Button fly's been really popular lately. I have a pair of earrings by Argento Vivo. These are a hoop. Aren't those cute? Okay. I have a pair of high boots. These are by Joseph Seibel. Kind of have like a gripper bottom. Flatter. Almost completely flat, right? It's about half an inch. Good Zena. Can you see her little tongue sticking out there? She's so cute. <laughs> but these are nice. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure about them. Um, I feel like their versatility might be limited because they are more of a casual boot just based on the gripper and the flatness. Um, they do have a zipper up the side. And then they have this like wrinkling. It's almost like they have a built-in scrunchy look to them. Oh, I smacked myself with them. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. 
Next, I have a pair of Madewell denim in black. These have a lit, these pair, all right, I'm going to move the camera back. Sorry, Zay. This one has um, a little bit of distressing there at the knee. Both knees, actually. There's the back. The second knee also has a hole there. These have some nice stretch to them. So I'm fascinated by these. I like this wash. It's almost more, I know it's like a black wash, but it almost looks like a gray. Then I have a t-shirt by Zella. So this is a nice stretchy um, t-shirt with that uh, fancy little bottom. Same with the uh, wrist. Okay, then I have a dress. This is by Chelsea 28. Kind of has, it's, it has a little bit of blue in there. I thought it was gray at first, but it's actually a little bit of blue. That little ruffle detailing on the um, shoulder. That's cute. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would wear that right now. And the last item, <laughs> I, I have to get one of these in every box now. It's like I have to remind everybody. Um, but yes, it's a turtleneck. It's actually like a poncho style, I guess. Um, yeah, it's more pon It's a poncho with the turtleneck. So maybe it'll hang down a little bit lower. Maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's everything. We're going to get right to the try on. Okay, first outfit. So this is the Chelsea 28 dress. Um, I think this dress is adorable, but it's way too short for me. So we're just going to get that right out of the way up front. Um, but I love the pattern. I like the little lace. I even like the little tulip hem, but it's a definite no. Adorable though. It even has a modesty snap here, which I love. Um, but I would never reach for this. I don't even think it would pass the sit test. Um, I like the little elastic waist here. You could even add a belt and dress it up. I think you could do a lot with this dress. But the fact that, number one, it's, it's pretty short. And number two, it kind of comes up and it crosses over, I think would just be a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen. Um, this is the Ruffle Sleeveless Mini Dress by Chelsea 28. It's only $44.50, um, so it is quite adorable. It's just not something that I would reach for. I also put on the earrings. I think the earrings are quite pretty. Um, they're nice and thin and small if you're looking for a large hoop. Uh, they're lightweight, and I don't think they're overwhelming. Um, I do have a tiny head, so they're going to look really big on me. <laughs> this goes back to my tiny head. Um, this is like this new topic, I feel like. Um, but they do look quite large on me, but I do love that they're lightweight and thin and great if you're looking for a larger hoop. These are called the Argento Vivo Hammered Large Hoop Earring. Um, these are a sterling silver, and they are $68. Now, this, they say the color is gray is what I'm reading, but these are gold-plated, so $68. And it says on the tag, 18 um, karat gold-plated. I'll get a little bit closer just so you can see these, but I'll keep them on throughout the try-on. You can see that hammered look a little bit. Okay, let's get to the next look. Okay, so next up, I have on this uh, lettuce hem t-shirt and the pistola denim. I kind of like both of these. So this t-shirt is the perfect underlayer. It's nice and lightweight, feels really great on, nice and relaxed, and very, very, very stretchy. Um, the denim also I really, really love. So I'm loving this fit. I really like the straight leg, and I really like the color. The length is perfect on me. And the only place I have a little bit of extra room here is in the waist. Um, that would be the only area that I wish I had. It came in just a little bit more, but I'm not sure it's going to be an issue because it's not like gaping. It's actually still coming in. So I really like these. This is what it looks like out. So you can see that little lettuce edge. And the sleeves are a little bit long, 
but obviously you can pull it up and it will stay. Both I think are really nice. Really love the fit of these Pistola denim. Um, these do not have any stretch in them. So just keep that in mind. I do think they relax um, and that might help here a little bit in my waist because I think they'll relax as you wear them. The Zala Lettuce Edge Long Sleeve Rib T-shirt, $49. The Pistola Keaton High Waist Slim Straight Leg Jean, 128 And let me show you this material here closer and that lettuce edge. And here's the fabric. Or look at the jean a little closer. And you could still do a little front tuck and give it a little bit of shape if you wanted to to the shirt. All right, and we'll keep going. Okay, so basically now I just swapped out the thermal tee, the tee, um, the lettuce edge tee for a thermal sweater. Um, this one is by Thread and Supply, I believe. Oh, no, Treasure and Bond. Yeah, Treasure and Bond, Thermal Stitch, Pullover, $59. This one feels nice on. It's not close to my neck, or at least I'm not feeling it. Um, again, color is very similar, if not the same. Very similar here. And... It's really nice going into fall. I love the blues. This looks nice with the lighter colored jeans. Here's the material on this one. It's a very basic. I wouldn't call it special, but I think it's a nice color and it'd be great for a fall day. Okay, so next up is this wrap around blast. This is a blouse. This is a true wrap. There is no modesty snap, so I'm gonna have to hold it because this is too big for me. Um, it has a button here, a button over here, and then the true wrap. Um, and then I paired it with the made well denim, which I'm actually really in love with. These cuffs are not sewn, so you can pull them down. Love, um, which we're gonna do to try on the boots. And um, I put them on with mules. These fit so beautifully, um, but they do have holes in the knees, um, which I like. I have no problems with them because they're not too crazy. Love the cuff look for right now in the fall, and then you can roll them down, wear them as skinnies with boots. Perfect. Uh, and they fit me really well in the waist. Like I usually do not fit Madewell jeans very well, and these fit perfectly. Let me try. I'm trying to hold this closed and show you. Um, fit perfectly in the waist. They have some nice stretch um, and they fit so, so nicely. So I'm really liking this denim. This top, not so much. So first of all, it's too big. Um, it's kind of wrinkled. So I feel like it would be kind of a nightmare for me to wear. You also would have to wear like a bralette or something underneath it um, because there's no modesty snap and you don't want it to pop open. The sleeves are too long. Um, I'm just really not a fan, although I think the style is really pretty. And I actually really like it with these jeans. Let me see if I could size down. This is the Arlo Wrap Top by Free People. $98, and this is already an extra small, so I'm not gonna be able to size down. Let me get a little closer so you can see this. I like the striping in it and the colors with the blue and the tan and the black, but this is just way too big for me. The Madewell Denim, they're called the 9 inch high waist skinny jean, $128. So that's the going price for the denim in this box. I really like these. All right, <laughs> we'll get to the next outfit. Okay, so next outfit, before I put on this second boot, I have to show you that these are fur lined. <gasps> oh, you should feel the inside of these. So amazing, so amazing. All right, we're gonna put this other uh, boot on now so I can show you the full outfit. Even Zena's impressed, aren't you, baby girl? Okay, so now here's the full outfit. Um, so this poncho 
which is adorable, isn't anywhere near my neck, and it is super stretchy. I just put on a white tank um, for the next outfit as well. Um, but super stretchy, very, very soft. Um, overall, a nice uh, poncho. So here's the back. All right, and these boots. I was trying to figure out why they were so much. This is the most expensive item. These are the Nolly 23 boots by Joseph Seibel, $194.95. And now that I see that they're <laughs> fur-lined, I totally understand. Um, they're very comfortable. They feel wonderful on. Um, they are flat. I don't know about them. I don't know if I'd reach for them, um, but I really do like them. They would be great for the fall things like the pumpkin picking, like the things that are more outside and casual. I don't think I would love them for dresses unless it was more casual, but I do like them. What do you all think of like the heavier ponchos? Here's this knit. This is a nice color for fall. I do like it with the black denim. I like that it's nowhere near my neck. I could totally wear this one. I'm just trying to think if I would wear it is my question. Would I wear this knowing that I'm a jacket girl? All right, and I've got one last item in that jacket. The poncho, I think I did not tell you how much it is. It's a, the cow neck knit poncho. It's the Nordstrom brand. The color is burgundy and it is $79. Okay, final item. I have this Vera Motive jacket on. So this is kind of the style of a shirt jacket, although I don't, I have a tank top on and not a full blown shirt. And I can tell you the sleeves are not the most comfortable. So I feel like I'd have to wear long sleeves under this. I do like the black and white. It does come up on the side. It's not super long as you can see from the back. I cuffed one sleeve just so you could see what that looked like because the sleeves are a bit long on me, so I would probably have to cuff it. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I don't know if I love it. It is more of a boxy fit, so if I button it, here's what it looks like. It's not bad. I like it with this outfit, so a little bit of the pop of white at the top, but you could also add a color and then the jeans and the boots. This is a cute fall look. Here's a closer look. All right, and this one is called the Rosy Shirt Jacket by Viramoda, $79. And that is all of my items. What did you think? What do you think the standouts are here? So I was really shocked by the boots and the fur lining, and, I, and they do fit really well, very, very comfortable. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if I would reach for them. I'm loving these jeans. They are super comfortable. They are true jeans, but they feel uh, much more comfortable than that, if that makes sense. So the, these I really, really liked. I actually really liked this denim as well. Um, but they didn't have stretch. So these are something that would need to relax a little bit. And then I kind of really liked this tee for a basic layering tee. And I think that is it for me for this one. I didn't think this was a bad collection. I actually thought it ended up being a great collection. Um, I'm just not sure I would reach for this poncho. This is too big for me. I thought this was okay. I like the color, but it's just a basic. And this one was an absolute no. The earrings are cute. I could think about those. I do like a bigger earring, but I would probably wear them when my hair was down. Um, and I think that's everything. I will list all these items down below. I'll put links to them on the Nordstrom site in case you want to just check any of them out. Um, but also you could request them from your trunk club stylist team as well in case you'd like them to include them in your next trunk. I'll put my link to trunk club down below as well. I'm pretty sure if you use my link, you should get $50 towards your first trunk and I'll get $50 towards my next trunk. All right, please do share your favorites. I love reading your comments. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more. It really helps me continue to bring you videos just like this one. 
just like hitting that subscribe button and hanging out with us. If you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, bye everybody.